three things you must must do if you're trying to get over your past lover your ex and you're finding it very difficult right now maybe it's a case that both of you were together things the happy times were happy the sad times were not so were not so happy and there was a lot of disruption there and for some reason when you come to this breakup period it always comes at a time where it's very difficult because you're used to each other. You remember all the good times you had with each other. You remember all the loving times, but then actually in times like this is very uh, interesting because we kind of forget all the disruptive times. And so actually it's very important if you want the best for the other person, if you know that this relationship is not right and is not going well for anybody, and it's disrupting both energies, then it's very important you know how to actually set them free and on the journey of it, of course, set yourself free too. But before we get into it, show reel, hit it. What's up guys, this is Sri Akashana here and in this video we're going to break down three things that is extremely, extremely important for you to do if you want to let the old energies pass so that new life can be for yourself or for even that loving partner that you've had for a while. Now, during this time, obviously a lot is uh, probably going on in your mind and it's like how do I even get over them or even the phrases like I can't live without her or him these phrases come out and we know fine well that actually there's not no such thing as we can't live without them because they are not really our oxygen it's just another person that you have become attached to that's where on the spiritual journey it's also very important to understand the process and the power of detachment and this is not a selfish act because this is not just for yourself. Think about it. If two people are together, right, and there are arguments happening, or for whatever reason one has called for the split up, there's obviously a reason because there's some needs that are not satisfied right now. And because of emotional attachment or past experiences, what you find is you find it extremely, extremely hard to actually detach, which actually is for the other person is painful for the other person and painful for yourself too. So it's very important you know how to do this the smoothest way. So the first thing that must, 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 must be done, and I know when you hear this you won't like it, is to stop all contacts. Like um, blocking phone number, blocking Facebook Messenger, blocking Instagram, blocking, blocking every single platform, every channel for communication, and even blocking, let's say for example, if the opportunity comes in where they communicate with your friend to pass on a message, to also block that off too, by having a conversation with your friend and saying, um, please, if you are my friend, then help me along this way by not being the middle person, because that's all disruptive also. Because we know what it's like when that message comes through and it's kind of like, I miss you or I miss you too, then suddenly you're back seeing them again and you're thinking, oh, what happened? Again, remember why you want to practice this art of letting go in the first place. And if it's the, for the intention and benefit of both parties, then please do stick to this very, very strict, strict, strict commands. Now I know for some of you, You'll be thinking, um, do I have to do this? Must I do this? But I, I feel it's even more pain, or they will feel even more pain, right? But understand one thing, this pain is temporary. Because when you give something attention, the energy will always be there. When you don't give it attention anymore, energy always likes attention. So it will have to find somewhere else to go. Now, I know when you hear that, your heart will be broken. Because you're thinking, what does that mean? Does that mean that they're going to go to somebody else? Okay. Right now, your thoughts should not be like that. You want the best for them. You, do you love them enough 
to want the best for them and to be able to set them free? And if the answer is yes, then number one, the command is no contact. Then moving on to number two, okay, is to declutter all old energies. Now, you're probably thinking, what do I mean by decluttering all, all old energies? First of all, um, photos hold energies, so you need to declutter and get rid of all old photos. Now, I know it'll be heartbreaking. I can feel, I can feel your emotion just watching this video right now. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how? But we created such beautiful memories, right? Some of you will argue the point, and actually this happened in a previous video. Somebody said, no, I don't think that's necessary because actually you need to understand how energy works. Everything holds energies. So maybe gifts from what they gave you in the past, maybe a t-shirt, a jumper, a coat, a jacket, whatever they bought you in the past, right? Whatever those items are, think about it. Every time you see it, it does bring back those old energies because everything holds energy. So it'll always be there. So number one, it won't help you in letting go. But number two, what people don't realize is when your container, this is why they say when your cup is full, stop pouring. When the container is consumed by a certain energy, meaning your surrounding is with a certain energy, actually new things are very hard to come into your life. So how can you move on? Now, some of you watching this, maybe you're not even trying to get over your ex, right? But you're watching this, but maybe think about it. You're trying to attract new love. And maybe by having those things still in your life, those items, those pictures, those photos on your Facebook, on your Instagram, right? On all these different things, or whether it's a physical gift, right? Those energies may be the energies right now, the old energies that are blocking the new energies from coming in. So declutter all old energies, just wipe out, get rid of it. And you're probably thinking, I can't, I can't live without it. But actually, if somebody stole your phone and you lost all your photos, then <laughs> you'll have to learn to deal with it anyway. And you probably had a scenario like that before. So you know you can, okay? Number three, the final thing, right? And this is very, very important, is to get yourself into new environments. Think about it. If you're still hanging around with the same friends, the same friends that are connected with both, then they'll start talking, they'll ask you questions, then you're still in those old energies. Think about it. If you're still living in the same house that they left you in, right? That's even worse because every single day you're noticing everything and you're thinking about them at every move, right? So what's really, really requ required is to take yourself out of context, right? Go on holiday, go traveling. Go meet new friends, hang around with new people, right? Change the whole environment. If you go, you go out there, explore, meet new people, right? Enjoy yourself in a different surrounding. If you do that, you'll find that the new energies will allow the old energies to clear and also to allow new things to come into your life. Guys, <laughs> I know it's a hard topic and I know it's hard for all of you, um, but my love and blessings is with all of you, give you courage, give you strength to stand tall for the sake of the other person being able to be set free and for yourself to be able to be set free also. So practice this detachment and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Also, give us a thumbs up if this video has been of any use to you whatsoever. Please do hit the thumbs up. Comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from and let us know your experiences. Maybe your experiences, what you've been through in the past will help other people to actually get out of this also, these hard times. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, namaste. Thank you.